So, you know, you think about everyone starting off every day with a cup of coffee or their normal routine. And you go to a counter and you, and you get that product. What was done to enable that product to come out with a consistency and quality day in and day out? The little things are the things that really impact so many aspects of our lives that we often oversee and don't fully appreciate. If you can design a product on the means of production, in many ways it puts the customer front and center. The nozzle from Vitamix is absolutely a perfect example of the idea of fusing design with manufacturability and engineering all into one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a demonstration of one of the most wonderful machines that was ever invented, the Vitamix machine. Vitamix was started 97 years ago by my great-grandfather with a vision to see if he could help people eat differently. Without health, you're a miserable failure. We decided that if we're gonna make a piece of equipment, we wanted it to last a really long time. So we have never compromised on quality, and we won't. The nozzle is actually part of a system that's used to rinse out containers. We were struggling to produce a multi-piece design that would stand up to the pressures uh, that we were encountering. We have the opportunity to do something right simply because it's the right thing to do and it's part of who we are. And so we opened up a project to say, how could we redesign this? Maybe traditional manufacturing isn't enough. We recommended using the carbon process as a start for the prototyping phase. Now this product, when it was made by injection molding, actually had to be made out of six parts. Making it a one-piece nozzle was really the only solution. The only avenue we had was the carbon process. When you make it out of one part, because we now can with digital light synthesis, you get a chance to dematerialize it. It's a third less mass. Vitamix started testing the prototypes and found that the material was durable enough to meet or exceed some of the injection molding materials. It actually has exceeded the quality standards of the product that we we're able to make a traditional manufacturing. You can't afford to go another day without a Vitamix machine. If you're going to believe in something that isn't yet possible, then you have to rethink possible. It's the only way to get there. So the partnership with Carbon is very exciting for us because it's helping us rethink the possible every day. For the longest time, we've been sending all these engineers to classes that are design rule classes. These are all the rules you have to follow because you can't do stuff. Once you can manufacture something differently, then you can think about how those components interact with other components, then you can get an entirely different outcome. It's about evolving the paradigm of engineering. Now we have a new tool in the toolbox that we're learning, exploring, evolving. This is a cultural revolution on how designers and engineers think. Once you go digital, you can't go back. It fundamentally changes how people collaborate and work. You don't have to have the constraints of manufacturability superimposed on the design. And instead of being curtailed on your idea because you couldn't make it, now you can make it so you can let your imagination run wild. That changes everything.